Hey guys, you might be wondering what's with the quilt. Well, I'm coming to you from the underheated, over-freezing sewing room. Someday, I just gotta turn on the heat. <sighs> anyway, today's video is really super cool. Um, today, we asked for Prince, and he came. And he was so super. Thank you, Prince. You're not going to believe how good this video went. I mean, it you got to watch it and you got to watch it all the way through. I mean, he was so cooperative and he was so cool. At one point, my, you know, dense brain kicked in and I was trying to find a word like I was going, uh, 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 and he came back with the word I wanted and he didn't come back like, doctor, like that. He actually... Doctor, nice and loud, not even doctor, but doctor, that loud. I mean, this was an amazing session. Very positive, very cool, very awesome. You got to see it. Anyway, Jesus, it's cold in here. Anyway, enjoy it. Have a good time. I'll see you on the other side if I haven't frozen solid by then. Okay, enjoy. Hello. Hi, I was wondering if there's anyone there who could bring Prince the Singer to come to talk to me. I know he's talked to other people in the past, and I was wondering if he could come talk to me. Is there someone who could bring him? Yes. I heard yes. Would he like to come and talk? Hi. Hi, Prince. Are you there? I know your name was Prince Rogers Nelson, but you like to be called Prince, and you were a famous musician, American singer. Just to make sure that I know I have the right person, could you tell me where you were born? Can you tell me when you first can you tell me when you signed your first record deal? A lot of people probably don't know this. It was amazing. How old were you? How are you doing? Is there anything you feel like telling the world? Was it interesting to sing with Madonna? A lot of your fans were, a lot of your fans were very, very, uh, were very, very sad to see you go. Yeah, a lot of people knew you had a uh, addiction to medicine and pain management. Yeah, you remember. A lot of people knew you were ill. Some people just didn't know. Did you get your, oops, did you get your opioid addiction because of pain, because of pain management you were on, like so many people? Or, um, it's very common today for people to become opioid addicted. It's very, very common today for people to become opioid addicted. It's very interesting he stopped to listen. It's very, very interesting for people to get their opioid addiction from, um... Doctor. Yes, exactly, from oh, doctors. Doctor. 
A lot of people these days are dying from opioid addictions that start with painkillers from their doctors. That's very sad. It's almost like you were one of the beginning. Do you feel like it would be, do you feel like it would be helpful if more people knew? Now, maybe other people know this, but I, I'm ignorant to the point. What was your charities? But it seems that you were very charitable to libraries. Why was that? Is there anything else you want to tell your fans or the public? Are you happy where you are? Do people do people need to fear death? Do you have any last word? Do you have any last words for the living or for? Do you have anything that any particular person needs to know? Would you like to say goodbye now? All right. It's, I think we should say goodbye now. Is that okay? If you'd like to say goodbye, say goodbye. I hope you liked that video. I really liked it. And I'd like to thank uh, Prince, the spirit of Prince, for coming forward and being so very cooperative. That was a great great thing he did for for us for me and for you guys and if you're a subscriber love you guys <laughs> love you guys and if you're not a subscriber yet please consider subscribing that that would be great because this channel's meant for you guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, share it with your friends that'd be really cool oh and if you're keeping track i was only treated for hypothermia one time um, okay, two times betw between the beginning and the end of this video. We did start a fire with the living room furniture before my husband let me put the heat on. You know, that's a New England thing. You don't put the heat on till at least the end of November. In the meantime, you suffer. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to share this on social media, please share it on social media because I'm still rather social media illiterate and would love to have somebody share it until I figure out how. Bye. Love you guys.